Hi everyone. How are you doing today? Welcome to class. I'm going to type hi in the chat. And I want to welcome all of you. I can't wait till you join us today. And I'm going to start off, as always, with the most important part of the class, going over the sounds that each letter makes. And again, this channel is Adult Literacy and English Language, where you can learn to teach yourself how to read. Yes, you can teach yourself how to read. So let's go over the sounds that each letter makes. This is the first letter. Repeat after me. Letter A, say A. A makes several different sounds. A, such as apple. A, such as eight. A, such as auto. And B, say letter B, as in it makes the bus sound. B, as in baby, say baby or box. The next letter is C. Repeat after me. C makes the K sound, K, such as cake or cook. The next letter is D. It makes the D sound, say D, as in don't or door. The next letter is E. It makes the E sound or E, such as egg or elephant. Good evening, Countess. Hi, and hi to all of you. The next letter is F, makes the F sound, such as fish or fox. The next letter is G, it makes the G sound, say G as in girl or go. The next letter is H. It makes the huh sound, say huh, such as hat or house. The next letter is I. It makes the I sound or I, such as ice or igloo. The next letter is J. Makes the J sound, say J, as in jump or just. The next letter is K. It makes the K sound, say K, as in kiss or kite. The next letter is L. Makes the L sound, as in lost or long. The next letter is M. Makes the M sound, say M, such as more or must. The next letter is N. It makes the N sound, say N, such as no or not. The next letter is O, makes the O sound, say O, such as open or octopus. The next letter is P, makes the P sound, say P, as in pocket or popsicle. The next letter is Q, makes the qu sound, say qu, such as quack or quit. The next letter is R, makes the r sound, say r, r, as in roach <laughs> or rocks. <laughs> the next letter is S, makes the s sound, say s, as in socks or supper. The next letter is T, makes the T sound, say T, T, as in tight or toss. And I want you to think of some words that start with these letters as well as I review them. The next letter is U, makes the U sound, such as, uh, or sometimes it makes the U uh sound sometimes, such as umbrella or U as in universe. The next letter is V, makes the V sound, say V, such as volleyball or velvet. 
The next letter is W, makes the what sound. Say what, what, as in wax or wallet. The next letter is X, makes the X sound. Say X, such as, uh, such as uh, xylophone. <laughs> The next letter is Y, makes the Y sound, such as yellow or yes. And the last letter is Z, makes the Z sound, say Z, Z, as in zest or zero. Okay, great. I hope you all have these sounds down by now. <laughs> I've gone over them enough, so hopefully you do, and remember, they should all, all those letters should be on the index cards for someone to quiz you on those letters as well. Okay, I wanna welcome all of you. And uh, today is lesson number five. So um, all of you should be working on reading books by now. You should be working on reading books. Uh, like I said, in the last class, you can get them at the dollar store do not get a book that is too advanced for you because you can gradually advance in your reading. But I want you to write in your notebooks the title of the book as well as the author so that you can keep up with it. And then if you know what grade level the book is on, then I want you to write that information too so that you can keep a reading log of what books that you're reading and how far along that you're progressing as far as what reading level that you're progressing in. All of you will start at different reading levels. So it would be up to you as far as when you're ready to move to the next level. Because again, this is about you teaching yourself to read. Yes, you can teach yourself to read. So what I want you to do now is to write, um, okay, so I'm going to say, Okay, first we need to review the words that we've been learning before. Let's give some, some more people time to come, to come in. So I'm just gonna review what we've learned so far. Okay, I'm gonna show you the card and then you think in yourself what, uh, to yourself what the word is. You can say it out loud and then I will tell you what it is. I'll just give you a few seconds. Okay, club, club. These are prefixes that we learned last week, club such as click or clock, wa, wa, such as when or what. And these prefixes are two letters that you would see at the beginning of some of the words, okay? Bla, such as black or blocks. And all of these should be on index cards as well as in your reading notebooks. Such as shop, st, such as stop. Again, try to pronounce these before I tell you what the word is. R. Sorry, that's somebody's car horn in the neighborhood. Shop. And if you want to put some sentences in the chat, uh, with using some of these words, that would be great. Go ahead and start writing some sentences and I will check your sentences. Ship. Shut up. What? Where? And you should be review, reviewing your cards every day, your index cards with your words on them. Every single day. When. You should know how to say these words and how to spell them and how to use them in a sentence. Why. It. That. This, them, they, 
Hi. Hi, Luke Bernard. It is now 6.20. Class uh, normally starts around 6 o'clock. We were a little bit late starting today. A. I'm just reviewing what we've, all the words we've learned so far. Cat. Sees. Such as he sees me. Your. Cannot. Okay, good. Luke Bernard wrote, why is the sky blue? All I need for you to do is capitalize that W as the first word in the sentence. Very good. And. And all of you should be saying these words before I tell you what the word is. You. We. Us. Welcome everyone, please give this video a thumbs up. Those. And try to say what these words are before I tell you what the word is. She. There, such as there you are. The. Every. This is a prefix, uh, the letters TH makes the th sound. Which, such as which hat is yours? C, I see you. B, such as a bumblebee. B, will you be there? And there, this there means ownership. That is their house. Me. Will. Store. Stop. Should. Shipping. Star. Still. Stock. Blueberry. I went over all of these words in previous videos. If you don't know these words or don't have them on your index cards, you need to go back and watch the previous videos so that you get all the words down and practice them every day. Clothes, such as clothes, the clothes that you wear, like your shirt or your hat, I mean your shirt or your pants. Clock. Click. Good evening. Galele wrote, good evening, my teacher. Good evening to you. Thank you for that. Okay. This is click, such as uh, uh, click the enter key. Blow, like blow of the room. Blunt. He spoke with using, he spoke using blunt language. Blue, color blue. Blind, he is blind. Bless, bless you. Blessed. You are blessed. Sheet. He has a sheet of paper. Block. 
I see a block on the sidewalk. Or someone may block you on the internet. Black. She has on a black hat. Shave. He will shave his beard. Steer. Steer the horses. Close. Please close the window. Closet. Don't hide in the closet. Clap. The, ch the child will clap his hands. Class. Thank you for coming to class. Okay, if you want to uh, write, you can write some sentences in the chat using these words so that I can check your sentences if they're written correctly and if they make sense. Remember, take advantage of this time, class, while I'm on here because I will have only but so many classes and this is your opportunity to ask questions and to get help. Some of you are just listening and not writing down information. You should have all of these words uh, in addition to any other words that you would like to add to your vocabulary written on these index cards so that someone at home can quiz you on how to spell these words, how to write sentences with them, and how to pronounce these words so that you can understand the relationship uh, concerning the sounds that each letter makes. You know how I go over at the beginning, the sounds that each letter makes, that's very important to know as well when you're pronouncing words. So um, I got this from the dollar store and they have these available now, um, especially since uh, school season is going on. You can go into the area where they have notebooks, pencils and pens. They usually have a school section and you can get, they, they come in, in different decorative um, de different decorative pictures and you can get these at the dollar store uh, just as a visual to keep in mind. Okay, so now um, what I want you to do, I'm going to say some of the words and I want you to spell them in the chat. I'm going to say some words that we went over already and I want you to spell them in the chat. Okay, spell the word this. Spell the word this in chat. Okay, Luke Bernard wrote there were three, there were three bowls of porridge. Okay, I think you were wanting to spell the word three. Hold on just a second. Okay, let me rewrite that sentence for you. Okay, good. Uh, Onifa, very good. I haven't seen you a while on here, so thank you for coming back to class. You spoke, you spelled this correctly. Okay, very good. Congratulations. And uh, Luke Bernard, let me rewrite that sentence for you. There were three. You actually spelled the word tree, it's spelled T R E, but three is spelled T H R E E. Bowls of porridge. Okay, so that's the correct way to write that sentence. So make the correction in the notebook. Very good job, Luke Bernard and Onifa. Okay, now spell the word we. Spell the word we. Good, Countess, that's correct. T-H-I-S is this. Spell the word we. In the chat, please. And it's okay if you misspell it. I'm quizzing you just like someone at home would quiz you like I'm I'm looking at these cards. Okay. Delaley and Onika have we spelled correctly. Good job. 
like a duck. All right. Spell the word blow. Blow. Remember to sound out the words. You can sound it out yourself. Just say the word slowly if everyone would thumbs up the video. I'm saying words and I want you to spell them in the chat. These are words that we went over already. Spell the word blow. Remember what two letters make, what two prefixes make the bluff sound. That's what you hear at the beginning. That will let you know those are the first two letters. Okay, very good. Onifa, blow is B-L-O-W. B-L-O-W, that's correct, good job. Okay, spell the word bless. Bless. That's another blah prefix. Spell bless. What letter makes the S sound? Very good, Onifa. Good job. Good job. Okay, spell the word should. Spell should. Should. That one's a little bit more tricky, but I believe you can do it. Should. Okay, good, Countess. You have blessed spelled correctly. B-L-E-S-S. -S. Good. Great job, Onifa. Should. S-H-O-U-L-D. Good job. Okay, Galaylee. Uh, looks like you are spelling the word uh, closet. Closet is spelled with a C. You almost have it. Okay, C L O S E T, like a closed closet. Okay, good job. Uh, let's see. Spell Y. Spell the word Y, not the letter Y. Spell the word Y. Okay, good job, Countess. Good job. S H O U L D is should. Spell spell the word Y. Such as, why didn't you come to class last week? Why didn't you come to class last week? The word Y. I'll give you a hint. There are only three letters. What do we hear at the beginning? What? Great job, Anifa and uh, Brianna. Spicy Weekend. <laughs> That's a wonderful name, Brianna Spicy Weekend. Good job. Both of you have Y spelled correctly, W-H-Y. Good job. And um, okay, so let's move on because we have a lot to cover today. Okay. Okay. Now, as I was saying earlier, if everyone would uh, thumbs up the video, it really helps the channel out. Okay. I want you all to start reading because you all, if you have been uh, with me since uh, the first lesson uh, in this 10 week series, which means there will be 20 teach yourself how to read lessons uh, every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, you all, I would like for you to start going to the dollar store and read a new book every week. Uh, that's what I want you to start doing. And I want you to write in your reading notebook two things, uh, well actually three things, the author's name, the title of the book, and what grade level the book is. You should have three columns, okay? And even if you finish reading the book before the week is over, I want you to start the book over, read it again, because uh, I want you to be able to recognize the words and to be able to read more fluently. To be able to read more fluently means you can read faster 
it doesn't take you as long to sound the words out. Now, are you going to know all the words every time when you see them? No. So what you're going to do when you start struggling with the words, I want you to try at least six times to pronounce the word on your own. Just sound it out. Just like if you're spelling the word, uh, if you see the word cat, that's C-A-T, then you would sound it out k k at k at k at cat. Okay? So that's how you have to do when you see a word that you do not know how to pronounce, you don't know how to say that word, I want you to sound the word out slowly. And then after you try it about six times and you still are having difficulty, okay, good job, Countess and Luke Bernard. You have, you have the word why it's spelled correctly, great job. So after you have uh, tried and tried and still have not been able to figure out how to sound out the word, this is what I want you to do. And I'm gonna share my screen. And I've showed you all this before, but I'm gonna show it to you again. And uh, this is so that you don't get frustrated. Like, for example, um, I'm on google.com. Okay, let me start from the beginning. You all know how to spell Google. Google. Okay, well, I'm going to show that to you when I go back, get off the screen. But anyway, you go to google.com right up here. And then right here, I want you to type the word that you don't understand. Like, let's say uh, I'm reading a book and I've never seen. Okay, let me see. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. I want you to write the word that you don't know how to say or you don't know how to pronounce it, which is cat, C-A-T. And then right after that word, I want you to write this word here, definition. Definition is spelled D-E-F-I-N-I-T-I-O-N. So put the word that you want to pronounce right here and then write the word definition after it. And then I want you to hit enter on your keyboard. And then this is what you'll see. You'll see the word right here and then you'll see this little speaker symbol. So click the speaker symbol. Okay, so here it's saying the word cat. Okay, so it's telling you how to pronounce the word. So that's what I want you to do from now on. Okay, and I've showed that to you all before. Okay, so now let me come back. And uh, also I wanted to show you uh, if you all want to uh, send anything to donate to this channel, you can click the my PayPal me and then right there you would, you would see my picture here and this is the name of my channel and you would click send. Okay, so you would click send and then right here, well, you would have see your login information, you would click login and then from there you would be able to send a payment. Okay, so let me come out of this. And right here, I was showing you earlier, this is how you spell Google, google.com. This is the website that you go to. And then in the search box, uh, you would then put in the word that you want to know that you're having a difficulty uh, spelling. And then after that, you would then type the word definition. And I'm going to spell the word definition in right there. That's how you spell definition. So like if you want to learn to spell the word, uh, to pronounce the word cat, you would write cat and then definition. And then you would see that little speaker to click on, and it will say the word for you, okay? So try six times first to pronounce the word on your own in the book. Okay, so you all, uh, even if you don't know a whole lot of words, I want you to start reading. Start reading now, okay? Okay. All right, so we're going to learn some uh, new prefixes. I'm going to put these in the chat and add these to your note cards. Okay. Begin to write those. Okay. I'm going to put this down as well. Okay, the first one is F makes the F sound, and L makes the L sound. 
sound. So when you put the sound together for this prefix, it's pronounced fla, fla, fla. And what are some words that start with fla? You can put some in the chat. If you can think of some words that start with the letters FL to make the fla sound, I'm going to put some in the chat as well. Floss, that's one word. Okay, so let's write those words on our index cards, those that I just posted. Okay, this word is os, os, floss. F-L-O-S-S, -S, floss, such as dental floss. The next word is flip, 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 F-L-I-P, flip. He, flip. he will flip in the ocean, flip. Okay, Countess, you wrote um, Friday starts with FR, but FR is another good prefix as well. Okay, Karen, you wrote the word sleep. Okay, um, Luke Bernard wrote flu. Good, let's write that next. Fla. Ew. The EW has the U sound. Flu, flu, F L E W. The bird flew across the sky. Okay, very good job. Okay, and uh, uh, Karine wrote fly. Very good. Fl I. The Y has the I sound in this word. Instead of the Y sound, the Y has the I sound in fly. Fly, F-L-Y, fly. I see a fly on the wall. Okay, that's a very good word. Okay, so let's move on to the next. Oh, I see the word. Oh, I wrote flat. Okay, and S-L. Let's write some words that start with S-L. How about this one? Sl o, sl o, slow, s l o w. The car was moving well. Um, I see a slow wind. I, I feel a slow wind. Uh, Another word that has SL in it that begins with SL is slip it, slip it. The I has the I sound here, slip it, slip, S L I P. Please do not slip on the floor. Or you can say she is wearing a slip under her dress. Slip. Okay. And you can write some words that start with SL if you want. Okay. Another word. This Slap, slap, slap. The A has the A sounds. So slap, S L A P. 
please do not slap the student. Okay, good, Brianna. We'll sleep. Yeah, okay, let's oops, I already have something right there. Write these on your index cards as well as in your reading notebook. Sleep. 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 S L E E P. Sleep. You go to sleep at night. Okay, and I see your word also. Look, Bernard wrote slant. Excellent. Let me write that down. Slant. Actually, you spell the word ant, A N T. You know, like an insect, ant. So, slant. 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 S L A N T. Her eyes have a slant. Okay, now let's go over the next prefix. Okay. The next two prefixes, D-R and E-R. See if you can write some words that start off with those prefixes, D-R and E-R. This is D-R as the dr sound, dr, dr. Okay, let's write some words. Go ahead, you all can put some words in the chat. I'm writing some words, and you can write these on your index cards. Okay, so let's write those words. Very good, Onifa. Drive. 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 D R I V E. I can drive a car. Drove. 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 D R O V E. I drove an automatic car. Drove. Next word. Okay, I think. I hope I didn't already go over this word. Okay. Drip. 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 D R I P. The sink, the, the faucet sink has a drip. Drip. Unk, drunk, drunk, D R U N K. The the student is drunk. Okay, I see some good ones. Good job, Onita. Onifa wrote, dr. S, dr, S. The E has the S sound and S has a sound. Dress, D R E S S. I am wearing a dress. Okay, Onifa wrote another good one. Dr, E, dr, E. The A sound is kind of silent here. The A sound is silent. So you write it, but you don't hear it when you say it. Dream, D-R-E-A-M. I had a dream last night. Okay, good, Onifa. Onifa wrote two more. 
okay? So let me just write one, uh, let me just write one more because we have to move on to the next prefix. Drug all, oh. drug all. Oh. The A has the ah sound and you can, the W has a very soft W sound, has a very soft W sound. Draw, D-R-A-W. I know how to draw. Okay, very good. And uh, good, Luke Bernard wrote drawn and Onifa wrote a dry also and uh, Kareem wrote dry. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, I said E-R. Okay, we're going to now look at some suffixes, which is uh, at the end of the word. And I again, I said we're looking at the suffix and the suffix E-R. E-R has the er sound, er, er. So what words have the letters E-R at the end? Okay, I can write some in the chat. Write that on your index card and in your reading notebook. Let her. Let her. Letter. Letter. L E T T E R. Letter. I will mail a letter to you. Okay. Write that word down. Okay, I'm not too certain what that word is, Brianna. Okay, number, 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 N-U-M-B-E-R, number. The number, sub, uh, the number seven is one of my favorite numbers, the number seven, okay? And I'm wanting to give you words that you would use more than likely in your vocabulary. Thunder, 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 T-H-U-N-D-E-R, thunder. That uh, the U here has the, it kind of has the uh sound like the letter A, but it's spelled with the U, thunder. T-H-U-N-D-E-R. I hear the thunder when it rains. Okay. And let's see. We have time for maybe one more. Okay, let's go over. Oh, were you trying to, okay, Brianna, I think you were trying to spell Easter. Okay, that's the correct way to spell Easter. E-A-S-T-E-R, Easter and uh, Luke Bernard, that's, that's an excellent one. Better, that's a word that you're going to use a lot as well in your sentences. And you may see it in the books that you read from the dollar store. B-E-T-E-R. B-E-T-E-R. This is how you sound words out. B-E-T-E-R. Better. Better, better. Some people say better, some people say better, you know. Just. 
okay, B-E-T-T-E-R, okay. All right, we have time for maybe one more. Okay, this is another prefix that you will see a lot of times at the end of a word. L-Y, L-Y has the, um, sometimes it has the Lee sound, sometimes it has the Ly sound, depending on the word. Okay, let me see what words I have. How about this? Slowly, 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 S L O W L Y. The snail moves slowly. And you can post some words in the chat as well if you would like. very calmly okay all right all right right you get let me write one more I have time for maybe two more words write these words uh, that I'm posting. Okay, very good. Um, Onifa. Okay, and let, let's just let that be the last few words, these three that, I'm, that we're writing. As it's about time to wrap class up. Qua ik li. Qua ik li. Quick li. Q U I C. K L Y quickly. Okay, and uh, Anita had a good one. Day, daily, daily, D A I L Y, daily. You should study daily. Okay. Rude. The E is silent when you pronounce it. Rudely. Rudely. R U D E L Y. Please do not behave rudely. Okay, that's a good one, Onifa. Lovely, 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 L-O-V-E-L-Y, lovely. That's a very good word. That's a, I like that word. Okay. Oh, I didn't think of this next one, Onifa. Very good. I need to get you to teach this class. <laughs> like, Lee, like, Lee. L I K E L Y. And if we didn't have the L Y, then this is how you spell like L I K E. With like with L Y, it's likely. Okay? Good job. Sometimes you have a word within a word. And now we only have time for these last two words. And uh, let's see. I'm going to post. This 
in the chat in case anybody has a question. Okay. On Lee. On Lee. If we took off the L-Y, that word would be on. Like I see a frog on the grass. On Lee, I only see you. Meaning I see you only and nobody else. Okay. And the last word of today. Okay, that was good, Onifa. The last word of today is from Luke Bernard. And I was just watching this uh, video with Janet Jackson. I get so lonely. I was just watching this yesterday, that video. Lonely. Without the L-Y, it would be the word lone. Not like a car loan, but loan meaning only by itself. Lonely, like you're longing for for some company. L O N E L Y, lonely. Very good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, Walker, that's good for the ER pre, uh, uh, suffix carrying. Very good job. Uh, I want. I really want to thank you all for participating. Everyone, please give a thumbs up. I should have at least 13 thumbs up on this video. I hope that, uh, let's see, one, one second, please. Yes, everyone, please like the video. I only have five thumbs ups, six now. I should have 13 or 15 thumbs up. Please thumbs up the video. Everyone, I would really appreciate that. Okay, if you want to support the channel, you can purchase a reading t-shirt there. And if you want to, um, let's see, if you want to support the channel by giving a donation, then if you would please click this link, I would really appreciate it to help support the channel. Because there's no place else on YouTube that you can go to in order to uh, get this type of teaching for free with learning how to read. Because, yes, you can teach yourself to read. Again, I want you all to share the video, like the video, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you, uh, Lord willing, next Tuesday, August 3rd at 6 p.m for the next class session every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Um, this is lesson number five. So we have about 15 more uh, free lessons here. And I wanna thank you all so very much for watching. Please donate to the channel. It would help the channel out greatly. Whenever you watch my videos, please watch the entire video from beginning to end because I need to increase my watch time hours before I can start getting paid for my videos. If, this, uh, if you have missed previous live streams uh, concerning teaching yourself how to read, go back to the very first lesson, live stream lesson, and start there so that you can get all of the words that we've learned thus far on your flashcards. You should be uh, learning the words from your flashcards every day. You should learn how to use them in sentences. You should learn how to pronounce the word. You should learn how to spell the word. So get someone in your home to quiz you with the flashcards. And you should have everything on the flashcards along with sentences that you've been practicing in your reading notebook so that you can have something to study by in your notebook. Okay. And as I said earlier, every, every week, I want you to read a new book that you get from uh, the dollar store or someplace that has inexpensive books. You may already have some at home or some you can borrow from a friend or family member. Okay. Start at the lowest reading level possible so that it's not too frustrating for you. Don't start at, a, at an advanced college textbook level. You should be reading something maybe in uh, at the kindergarten level, first, second, or third grade level, whichever level you feel comfortable with, but challenge yourself a little bit. And remember, go to Google and uh, type in the word and then the word definition after that. As I showed earlier, if you missed that step, go back to the beginning of this video and I show you that on the screen so that uh, the Google can help you pronounce the words after you've attempted at least six times to try to sound it out the word on your own. And I demonstrated for you in all of my videos uh, in this series on how to sound out the words. All right, I thank you all for watching.
and I will see you in the next one. Lord willing. Bye. Oh, and um, let's see. I want to give you all something. I want to thank um, Luke Bernard, uh, Kareem, and so many of you uh, for participating in class today. And that really means a lot to me. Um, Onifa, Luke Bernard, uh, Brianna, um, Kareen, and anyone else who participated. Countess, I want to thank all of you for participating. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you for watching.